Claire's main concern was that she had excess skin laxity affecting the jawline area, which was resulting in jowl formation. She also had some laxity in the submental area and the neck that she wanted tightening. I wanted to do endolif because it's not about trying to be completely young again, but it is about managing the aging process and trying to look as good as you can for as long as you can, while acknowledging that you're getting older. Claire underwent an endolift procedure to address these concerns. So I ended up treating her lower face, the submental area and the neck to improve the degree of skin tightening in those areas, um, reducing the jowl formation and actually she had a very good result even instantly. So to take you through the procedure, the first thing that I did was to uh, take photographs of Claire um, so that we have a baseline level for assessment after a month or so. I then proceeded to sterilise Claire's skin, mark out uh, the important no-go zones across the face and the neck, which were mainly avoiding the marginal mandibular nerve and also avoiding the thyroid tissue. I then proceeded to numb Claire's skin using percutaneous local anaesthetic so that she would be nice and comfortable during the procedure. After this, when the skin was suitably numb, but she still had some tactile feedback for me, I proceeded with the endolift treatment, starting with the lower face, moving down into the neck area, and then the chin. Procedure was very interesting. I, I enjoyed it in an odd way. It doesn't hurt. It definitely doesn't hurt. You can feel pressure and afterwards you feel slightly warm all around. I feel very warm all around my face, but I, I can feel the contraction of the skin and that is a very pleasant feeling. After the treatment, Claire's skin was, as we would expect, a little bit red. She had a little bit of swelling, which will go down in a couple of days, but she was overall very happy with the result because she could already see some instant skin tightening.